Hi, it's Wayne O'Keefe. I'm fishing at Yerimbat and there's a lake here, a stocked lake. I'm, uh, I've wandered around the lake. The wind was a bit high on one side, so I've come back here. There's a slightly higher bank and so there's a bit of protection. Day's overcast, the winds are fairly strong. So what I was normally would do is fish into the wind. So facing the wind, all the, all the food, all the insects and things like that get blown towards one bank one side of the, the lake. I can't do that today, it's just too unpleasant in the wind, so I've decided to, uh, to fish in cover. I'm using Berkeley power bait, so I'm using a, an aniseed flavor and a garlic flavor. I've got worms, I've got corn, and this is a stop lake, so I'm going for the trout. So we'll just see how we go. I was using burly cages, so every time I would cast, I'd try to cast to the same spot. I'd use a tree on the other side as an indicator. That way I'm putting burley in the same area to attract the fish to the same spot uh, and that made it easier to catch. Now this is the same day but only half an hour later. The sun was out so conditions were quite a bit different. It even got a little bit warm. I hooked into my first trout because I'd been uh, depositing the burley in the area which had sort of got them moving. Got a few bites and things like that but this is the first fish. Caught this one on worm and as you can see it's not a big fish it's also probably been in there for a while because it's quite an anemic color quite light color same color as that water these are not big fish but they fight a little bit and they're good fun to catch next i hooked into the my second fish for this session it was another rainbow a little bit bigger than the first one that i had caught and i just got the same way cast into that same spot building the burley up uh, which was attracting the fish in. I had been getting bites and missing a few uh, and then finally I got this one. I was using light line and small hooks and that was really what made the difference. Those things uh, make it harder for the fish to determine that there's anything connected to the bait, make them more confident in, in taking it. After two and a half hours at Yarrambat and catching those two fish, I then moved on to Lilydale Lake. So my two sons came with me and we tried our our luck there doing the same things using burly light lines small hooks and it turned out to be quite productive we only had 45 minutes and in that 45 minutes i caught this nice little rainbow trout a little bit bigger than the other two had a bit of a fight and was really good fun it's certainly worth going out to these stocked lakes 